HIV is a is a global pandemic. It it affects more than 35 million people around the world. In the 1980s, infection with HIV was a death sentence. Since that time, we've made great strides in the medical community with antiretroviral therapies that allow people to live with this virus, but it doesn't cure it. I earned my PhD at University of Toronto studying um, viral glycoproteins. These are proteins that exist on the, on the surface of viruses that work to, to fuse the virus with a potential host cell. And so by blocking their function, we can avert infections that you see routinely. The holy grail for HIV research is to find a vaccine that can prevent HIV infection and spread. And researchers like myself have been working on this for 30 years. Developing a, a vaccine for HIV has been extremely difficult. The virus itself mutates rapidly. We did a little bit more digging and found that region of the virus generates what we call an immunodominant response. Now, usually that would be a good thing. The immune system can see the virus and it can react. But in this situation, the antibodies that the uh, human immune system makes don't protect you from an infection. This region, we believe, acts as a decoy to divert the host immune system towards an irrelevant target. So what we hope is that our research will provide a strategy for future vaccine design that will avoid this region altogether, taking the stealth away from the virus. We've done a lot of work with the CLS. The brightness of the beam and the expertise of the technicians, it's really revolutionized the way that we've screened our research materials and it's, it's expedited our research.